1505 CE, Tulava Narasa Nayaka's son, Veera Narasimha, started to rule the empire. With this, started the rule of the Tulava dynasty. After his death, his brother, Krishna Devaraya, came to power in 1509 CE. Krishna Devaraya was born to Tulava Narasa Nayaka and Nagala Devi in 1471 CE. He was married to Tirumala Devi and Chinnamma Devi. Krishna Devaraya went on to become the most famous and greatest king of the Vijayanagara Empire. He developed a very strong relationship with his Prime Minister, Timarusu. He looked up to Timarusu as a fatherly figure. When he became king, he had to face a lot of opposition and revolts across the empire. But he did not give up easily. He brought all the chieftains in the Tungabhadra region under his control. And with their support, he gained the trust of his subjects. Now that his rule in the Tungabhadra Basin was established, he began aiming at expanding the territory of his empire. He was a brave and a skilled warrior. He was successful in most of his conquests. Even his military conquests had very interesting stories. One of his first targets was the Gulbarga region. This region was under the rule of Yusuf Adil Shah, who had imprisoned the Bahamani Sultan Mahmud Shah. Krishnadevaraya defeated Adil Shah and freed Mahmud Shah, restoring his position as Sultan. For this, Krishnadevaraya was given the title Yavana Rajya Pratishta Panacharya. Another story goes like this. Krishna Devaraya wanted to conquer the region of Odisha. So he attacked the kingdom ruled by the Kalinga Gajapati ruler, Prataparudra, and succeeded in this conquest. Prataparudra, however, didn't want to give away his throne. So he negotiated for peace by offering to marry off his daughter, Jagan Mohini, to Krishna Devaraya. The emperor accepted the offer and took Jagan Mohini, also known as Annapurna Devi, as his third wife. The Vijayanagara Empire expanded in all directions under the reign of Krishna Devaraya. The empire covered most of South India and it included parts of present-day Karnataka, Northern Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh. It also extended upwards in the northeast to Katak in Odisha. With the help of his Prime Minister, Timarusu, Krishna Devaraya defeated the Bahamani Sultans. This enabled him to capture the Bahamani forts of Bidar, Gulbarga, Raichur, and Bijapur. However, in these conquests, Krishna Devaraya was not alone. He had help from the Portuguese who had settled in India back then. The Portuguese provided Krishna Devaraya modern weapons like guns. They helped the great emperor because they wanted help in return. They wanted him to support them in their own conquest to capture Goa. Krishna Devaraya also succeeded in capturing a few forts in present-day Odisha. He seized the forts of Udayagiri, Kondavalli and Kondavidu all of which belonged to the Gajapati rulers of Odisha. Krishna Devaraya's Vijayanagara was a huge empire. He was ruling not one, not two, but three very, very powerful territories in South India. His ministers, neighboring kings, foreign ambassadors, everyone respected the great Krishna Devaraya. He was given many titles like Kannada Rajya Rama Ramana or Lord of the Kannada Empire, Andhra Bhoja 
and Muru Raira Ganda, or King of Three Kings, for his brave achievements. Many temples were built in Hampi under his patronage, like the Krishna Swami Temple, Hazara Ramaswami Temple, and Vithala Swami Temple. The wealth he gained from all the wars that he won was distributed among Hindu temples in South India and used to build gateway structures called Gopuras. Many temples named these Gopuras Raya Gopura in Krishna Devaraya's honor. He also built huge irrigation tanks and reservoirs for harvesting rainwater. As an emperor, he also had to ensure that his subjects were safe during wars or external attacks. So he made his army build strong forts and palaces. The emperor was also an admirer of art. His love for literature was clear when he insisted on having eight eminent literary experts in his court. These eight scholars were called the Ashtadiggajas. Alasani, Peddanna and Tenali Raman were the most popular among them. If you like this video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.